Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out for your 25-minute workout. We are going to begin in a child's pose. So taking those knees nice and wide, sinking your hips towards your heels, yawning open through the body as you reach the forehead to the mat and reach long through those fingertips. You can turn the head from side to side, maybe even rock the body from side to side. Start to breathe in and out through the nose. See if you can soften a little on your exhales. And then we'll just wash it forwards and backwards, getting a little shoulder mobility as we bring the weight forward onto the hands. You can take a little baby press up here if you like. Connecting to your center as you shift that weight forwards and backwards. And then we'll find our way in a tabletop position, adding some circles through the hips. So make them nice and generous so you can get all those morning creaks out of the way. And then take it the opposite way if that feels good for you. Exploring how the spine feels, the outer hips feel this morning. And then finding a tabletop position, we'll move through a few rounds of cat-cow. So on an inhale, drop your belly, the gaze and tail can lift. And then as you exhale, press into your palms, round your upper back, tucking the chin. And move through that a few rounds just to see how the articulation of the spine feels this morning. Oh yeah. And we'll find our way onto our backs, drawing those knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug there. You can rock from side to side. And again, just seeing how we feel through the lower back, we'll take those knees in clockwise motion, maybe counterclockwise. Feel free to freeform any of this. If you want to split the knees from one another, just what's going to help you get into those big joints, those hip joints. We'll send the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling. Give yourself a little rinse through the ankles, through the wrists here. And then moving into a little twisting action, the feet are going to come wide as the knees point towards the ceiling and just roll across the hips here. You can take as long as you like from side to side, exploring again what's happening through the lower half of your body. So in this 25 minute format, we go straight into planks, starting with our right side. So as you rock on up, maybe you just want to get into the shoulders a little more. You can bring your fingertips towards your shoulders and give them a little bit of flossing here, taking those circles through the elbows. Yeah. So offering up either your right hand down or your right forearm down. The left foot's going to stack in front of the right foot to give you that base. We'll take a 30 second stationary hold in our lift and then I'd like to offer up just a little star shape for the second half of our minute. You can always come down to that right knee if that's too strong but let's begin. Here we go. Left arm, send it high. You feel how it almost lifts you away from that right shoulder. Check in with your alignment that the heels, hips, and shoulders are all in a line so you're not making a weird check mark shape through the body and hopefully you feel that work along that right side waist getting it nice and lifted away from the mat find your breath press into that forearm if you'd like to float the left leg this is going to be a little stronger through the right side so see how you go you can always drop down to that right knee if it is too strong getting plenty of side body work even with the knee down Ooh, yeah. Stay with your breath. Yeah, it looks good, Martha. You got it. Can you re-engage that energy down away from that right shoulder? Last three, two, one. Good morning. We'll come on to our bellies for a 30-second back extension work. We'll take a little parachute action. So it's that lifting on the inhale away from the mat, and it's just a slow, controlled uh, lower on an exhale as we fire up through those extensives. Here we go, 30 seconds. Take as many or as few as you like. We're feeling that nice little lift thanks to the strength through the glutes, hamstrings, 
and certainly those muscles that support the spine. Nice and controlled here, maybe a little energy through the legs as you point through the toes. Last three, two, one. We'll take a child's pose here, rinsing out through the spine as you, again, send your hips towards your heels and lengthen through your fingertips. We'll move into a forearm plank, taking just a minute here, coming to your knees if you feel like you need a little extra support. Starting the clock right now, so find those feet a comfortable distance from one another. Press those heels away and fire up through the quads. Let that strength through the legs support this solidity through the center. Yeah, it looks good, Sav. You got it. And again, that same idea, pressing into your forearm so you're not dropping through your shoulders. Yeah, Jeannie, fantastic. Show Greg how it's done. <laughs> We're halfway through our minute hold, so recheck where your hips are in space. They're not too high or low. Soften through your jaw as you connect to your breath. Heels press away, cinching through the waist. Last 10 seconds, guys. And we'll finish this in three, two, one, you can take a little child's pose if you like, but we'll come back to those parachutes in our back extensions. Bringing your bellies down, float it on up for 30 and then lower to a hover. Can you feel how that breath really expands to help you lift? Again, that energy through the legs. Nice work, Lammy, you got it. Just slow and controlled to see what needs to fire to get the lift and what helps slow lower. Last three, two, one. Great job, you guys. Take it on back to your child's pose. Make this a slow entry into your child's pose. Just really nourishing through the spine. Finishing up our planks either on your left palm or your left forearm. It's the right foot that gives you that extra base as you send it in front of the left. And we'll take that star shape at the halfway mark. Here we go. Send that right arm high. Can you get a little more distance from your left waist to the rear mat? Yeah, that's awesome, Philly. You've got it. Press it into your feet, pressing into that left forearm so there's no drop in that shoulder. And again, the modification by coming down to the left knee. Okay, we're gonna try and see how it feels on this left side oblique, left outer hip, Wah! floating that right leg. Here's our starship hold, or star shape hold. Be honest, if you're feeling any sort of tweaking through that left shoulder, come down to that left knee. Looks good, you guys. Ooh, stay with your breath. Yeah, Nicole, you got it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. I feel like that left side is so pesky. <laughs> Give yourself a little shoulder roll if you want. We're gonna move into our two rounds of ab work, guys. In this format, we go for 30 seconds. So getting in as many or as few reps as you like in that format. Our first one are gonna be butterfly sit-ups. So we're taking the soles of the feet together, the knees wing out, arms are overhead. Use your exhale to come forward in your sit-up. We'll take jack knives to target the left and right side oblique. You come on down to your right arm and then you pop up onto the elbow as you cinch through the waist for your jack knives. So you're making a little check mark through the body. You could also straighten the legs for a little more work. We'll catch that other side for the third round. And then we finish up with Russian twists. So we bring our heels down, we lean on back, and then with this lift through the chest, we get the obliques going as we take it from side to side. Butterfly sit-ups begin our ab set. 
So finding those feet together, knees winging out wide. Here we go. Three, two, eyes. Nice work. So strong. Using that exhale, very controlled. Nice work. Great pacing. That's it. You got it, Greg. Three, two, one. Change. We'll come over onto our right side. The feet are at a diagonal. And then we find our side body strength to come into our little jackknife. Again, feeling that work through that left side oblique, lower abs if you're drawing those knees in towards the chest, and certainly a lot of work if you're straightening through the legs. And you can alternate. You can just go straight leg. Yeah, Phil, that's good. Keep going. Oh yeah, three, two, one. Change, gotta catch the second side. Shoot those legs out at an angle, coming onto your left side. Right fingertips light behind the head and aiming elbow to knees or maybe hand to feet. You decide. Yeah, it looks great, Jeannie, you got it. Stay with your breath. Find that exhale to really squeeze through that right side oblique. Keep going, yeah. Three, two, one, change. Finishing up this ab set by leaning on back and we'll take it side to side. Send your chest towards the ceiling, drop the shoulders away and with that lift, so no hunching through the shoulders, I really want you to think as if you're unwinding your spine out of your pelvis. Yeah, it looks great. Nothing through the lower back. You're so strong through the center there. Yeah, that's it, Martha. Nice. Three, two, one, change. One more round of these. Butterfly sit-ups for 30. Arms overhead. Here we go. Knowing it's your last set, does it give you the motivation to take more or take fewer. Yeah, so controlled. Oh yeah. That exhale really helping you engage what needs to get you lifted. Three, two, one, change. Coming over onto your right outer hip. Left hip is stacking on top, right arm is long, and here we go. Maybe you experiment with straightening the legs every once in a while. So try not to use too much arm strength to lift you to your jackknife, but finding really that left side oblique firing. Yeah, that's it. Looks great, you guys. Keep going. Three, two, one, change. Wow, I really feel those. We'll take it to the second side. Again, not too much dependence on that extended left arm. Stay with your breath, keep that pacing up. Yeah, that's it, Annabelle, nice. Great work. Fantastic. You got it. We're in the home stretch with the jackknives. Last three, two, one, change. Finishing up with our twists. So you're on your sitting bones, your heels help ground you. Pull your chest up, keep that lift, and take it from side to side. If it's not too much through the hip flexors, you could float your heels if you wanted. Take it or leave it, it's just a nice little added. 
Ooh, it just got really dark there, Martha. What happened? <laughs> I can still see you though. Keep going. Nice side to side action. Three, two, one. Change. We are finished with our abs and we have two minutes of hip lifts, guys. We're gonna make them one-legged just so we can maximize those minutes. So we're gonna start with our left foot grounding down. The knee is stacked over the heel. We're gonna draw the right knee in towards the chest and then inhale, send the right leg long lower to a hover. Got it? So inhaling here so you fill up and then use the crunch knee to chest for the exhale. So that is our one minute. We are on the clock. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen, and the leg just hovers down the mat. So really firm through that left side glute to get the lift. Targeting a little core work sneaky as we focus on that left side. You don't have to rush these to really feel that grounding energy, and that exhale helps you lift even higher away from the mat and slow control lower as you shoot that right leg long. Yeah, that looks awesome, Philly, you got it. Stay with this firm through that left side glute. Oh yeah, it is slow burning. Almost finished with our minute. Let's take another five, four, three, Keep going, last two, and one. Lower down, hug your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a little hug. We prepare for the second side. So the hips just hover, you're pressing into that right foot, sending the left leg long, breathing in. And then with your exhale, send those hips high, left knee to chest. So feel this entire front body working for you as you lower, and that back body working as you lift. Yeah, stay with your breath, it's really helping you get that lift. Keep going. That exhale contracting through the navel to help that control of knee to chest. Yeah, it looks so strong. That's it, Zab, you've got it. Grounding down to find that height Oh yeah, so strong through that right side. You may notice a difference between your right and left. Breathe through that difference. Let's go for another five, four, oh yeah. Last three, last two, last one. Fantastic work through the glutes. Hug the knees in towards the chest, rock from side to side. Short and sweet, so we can move on to our squats. Our first round of squats, guys, are gonna be jumping jack squats. Just like it sounds, but we're adding the arms. Low impact, of course. So you step out right, arms come overhead. Take your squat through the center, arms overhead as you step left. So the squat comes through center each time and you go wide, arms overhead each time. Our upper body work, you're gonna come into a plank you're gonna tap right knee to upper right arm. You may only get to the elbow, you may only get halfway. Take the press up in between, tap left knee to upper left arm. Take the press up where you want, come to your knees, and see how you go. Hauntingly similar <laughs> to mountain climbers with the press up in between. Ooh, we're gonna step back. Well, I'm just trying to think which way to go first. We'll step back with our right leg for our balance work. We twist left and then knee to chest. So float back to a lunge, twist left, knee to chest. So three little elements in our balance work. And then we'll take two rounds of mountain climbers and finish with wide-legged burpees. So just three rounds in this format, but 30 seconds of work. And I'm gonna change up the squats each time, but we'll figure all that out. Keep it fresh. Right? 
in and out squats or jumping jack squats to begin with. Three, two, one. Here we go. Arms overhead give us a little bit more of a cardio blast. So you can take these as fast or as slow as you like. If you're going fast, don't deny yourself that depth in the squat. Really focusing on your breath. That chest stays lifted so you're not hunching forward and the tailbone is dropping, so there's lots of belly work here. Ooh, yeah. Three, two, one. Change. Plank, knee to the same upper arm. Add the press up where you like. Here we go. Maybe you go knee to upper arm for each side and then add the press up. I kind of like that. So you're getting that belly work as you draw, drive that knee to the upper arm. Keep that belly work switched on as you take your press up. So solid through the center. Yeah, Greg, nice. Three, two, one. Ooh, change. We're at the top of our mat. We'll start with the right leg lunging back behind us. Take a twist to the left. Right knee to chest. Here we go. Slow it on down. Challenging your balance, certainly to step back in your low lunge. And taking that little twist may also challenge your balance. Yeah, that's it. Nice work, Nicole. You got it. Connect to your center. That's going to help you lightly step back and drive the knee towards your chest. Change. We'll take our mountain climbers to get that blast of cardio. This time, knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. Add a pace. So you've got those shoulders stacking over those wrists. Yeah. Light through your knee drives, light through your toes. Firm through your belly, keep it going and stay with that breath. Yeah, that's it, Phil, fantastic. Oh yeah, three, two, one. Change. Two more rounds for this squat. We're doing a pull down, squat, heel to glute. Same idea of arms overhead. We're just firing up through the hamstrings a little more as you try and drive your heel towards your glute. Find your breath. That inhale as you send the arms high and sit deeply. That exhale as you contract through the legs and draw the elbows towards the ribs. Oh yeah. That's it, Philly. Fantastic. Oh. For our upper body round, down dog to plank, to forearm plank, to dolphin, what? to plank, to down dog. So you're shifting from your elbows to your hands and you're finding a dolphin and then a down dog. So walking through the shoulders mindfully. A lot of connection to your core as you transfer the weight forwards and backwards towards the heels. Three, two, one. Mercy, change. <laughs> We're stepping back now with that left leg, twisting right, left knee to chest. Here we go. Oh, this side may play differently in the body. See how it goes. Plenty of time to figure out what needs to fire to get that smooth transition. Yeah, so good. Keep going, keep going. Yes, Jeannie. Three, two, one. Change. Second round of mountain climbers, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Let's get that pace on a little more. So the last set of mountain climbers. So let's bring some fire to it. Shooting those legs towards your opposite elbows. Hugging the navel to the spine. Keep going, Lammy. You got it. 
run it on out. 10 more seconds. Yeah, fantastic, you guys. That's it, Sav. Nice. Three, two, one. Change. For this round of squats, we're doing little supermans with the woman squats. So you come down low and then you soar each side. Come on up to your tippy toes if you want a little balance challenge. You can sweep those arms behind you like it's a little cape. So there is a little bit of diagonal through the body. And feel that glute work too as you may come to your tippy toes. Require a little bit of balance. Nice work, Annabelle, you got it. Whoa. Three, two, one. Change. We're doing a tricep kick for our last round of upper body. You lower and shoot the leg long. So the elbows are bending equally. This is a little similar to what we were doing in our hip lifts, but we're just asking the arms to do the work here. Nice work. Maybe flex through those extended toes so you feel a little more energy through that leg that's lengthening out. Yeah. Come back to your breath. Three, two, one. Change. We're going to swap out and see how it goes. The twisting and the knee drive from leg to leg. See how that plays out in your balance as you have to change each side. Slow it on down, no need to rush these. Why can't I do that side? <laughs> Fantastic. You got it. Great connection to your navel, guys. Don't lose that knee and chest. Change. Last thing to do in this format, Wide-legged burpees. So we're gonna get that heart rate, those endorphins flying. We've got this. Here we go. Light jumps. Yeah, so connected to what is helping you travel. Everyone looks super controlled. No one is flailing about, I love it. Keep going, keep going. Yes, so good, Jeannie. You got it, Martha. Great pacing, Phil, keep going. In the home stretch. Yes, Steve. <laughs> Last three, two, one. Change. Great workout. Really exciting how we got that done. Thank you, guys.